Okay, let's get this show started. This is a DJI FPV V2 goggles that I recently purchased, and I've been struggling the whole day trying to get this uh, thing updated to the latest firmware. The version is like, it ends with 0606. Uh, I know that's the one that people have been complaining that falls from the sky, but actually there's a new subsequent one after that. I just cannot get it to update. And if you're like me and you're running Mac OS 11, Big Sur, with the latest DJI Assistant version 2.1, Point one, and you're getting error 5-100-4, then I have a solution that could help you fix this issue and get this thing updated. Okay, first things first is that you need to go to your terminal. Uh, you need to open your terminal. You can just do command space and type uh, terminal, and then you can bring it up, okay? You need to get the developer ID to check whether or not the extension has been notarized. I have notarized it on my laptop, but I think you need to also, it's probably not notarized on your laptop. So you type in spctl-a-vv-t install, right? And then you need to tell which software. And in this case, this is uh, Horndisk. And I installed, or at least the DJ, DJI Assistant uh, installs it in this location, which is a uh, library extensions and then horn this right this is a it's a dot kex file see it says there accepted you if this is the case and and this is accepted then um then you may have something a different issue you can't update but it, if this is the case where it doesn't say anything then then you know like uh this this could be the root cause of your problem if it's not notarized already just take uh make sure you take a note of this this is the developer id you copy this and then you put it uh, somewhere down or write it on a piece of paper because what we're going to do is that we need to actually restart your Mac into recovery mode. Um, and when you start restarting to recovery mode, you don't have access to any of your notes app. So write it down on a piece of paper or your phone or something like that. And, uh, and then we restart it, okay? The way you restart your computer in recovery mode is just restart the computer as normal and then you hold command R as it reboots. What you need to do is like once you open the terminal, uh, you need to type csrutil disable. This will disable the security on uh, system protection. Now what you're going to do, you're going to write uh, slash usrs bin slash spctl spctl slash uh, actually no slash key text text, text, I don't know, consent, consent, dash list, and allow, right? So if if you did not allow this before, right, this would not be in the list, okay? So this is the one I told you to to allow, to write it down the previous time, so I've allowed it already. If you ha don't have this in the list, what you're going to do is that you're going to write the same command, right? Instead of list, you're going to write add, and then what you do is that you copy this, right? That you've written down before already, right? You've written down in your in your laptop, and you click add. And then once you do, is just click enter. And then once you return to the prompt, that means uh, that's it. You're done. Okay. Then now we're gonna quit and we're gonna restart the Mac again into a uh, normal mode again. Okay. So okay. So now you're gonna restart your laptop again. That's normal. So now you restart your Mac back into your normal mode, and then you're. Uh, you're going to enter your terminal again. Uh, what you're going to do is that you need to remove the permissions that you provided earlier to Horndis, right? It's important to let your, your OS or Mac OS accept it, re-accept the device again, okay? So this is what you do, right? You've written down the thing that you have before. Uh, first of all, you're going to follow uh, this example, enter your system password. You should know your password. Um, so what you're going to do after you've entered the super user mode, you're going to enter the kex policy right you are going to delete from from the load history where id is this one the same one that you had before you're going to delete it and you're going to delete the policy where the team id is the same one as before okay then after that you're going to quit this will manually erase the the previously uh, accepted uh, extension so what you do is that now oh, this is all done really, you need to reinstall Horndisk. But before you can reinstall Horndisk, you actually need to uninstall Horndisk. And the way you do it is that you need to remove it or delete all the files under the, the, the place, the location, which is library, um, 
extensions uh, horn disk, right? Now the thing is, the thing is here is that uh, horn disk is a directory, so you need to, and it's in the library in in the root of the folder. So you probably need to do sudo remove dash r dash f uh, to remove everything. Okay, please don't put star there. Okay, so it's removed already, and and I'll, I'll prove it by showing again library extensions and you can see horn this is nowhere to be found now the thing is is that in order to re uh, to reinstall this you actually need to restart the computer so yeah you've got to restart the computer then only do the reinstall process remember to restart if you don't restart uh, you won't install it properly i have removed horn this we have restarted the computer and now it's time to re reinstall horn this the version i'm i'm installing is the latest or the last version of horn this which is 9.2 um, just going to continue, whatever, uh, type in your, your system password, install, hello, what's going on? Ah, there you go. Ah, okay, so I should complete, um, but you still need to restart again. So it's uh, many, many restarts later, okay? I basically deleted, disallowed, and reinstalled Horndis again. Uh, let's see if the DJI system works. Okay, so I've got to connect, connect it my goggles, Go into the digital controller. Um, see, my version now is already this, right? Uh, this is the version that falls from the sky, the 606 one. Right? I can either downgrade it. I'm not going to downgrade it because actually the best way to test whether or not this uh, uh, has work or the thing that you've done has work is do a log export. And then once if you can do a log export, click save to local. This one actually takes some time. Uh, but if, if this thing starts to go, and you start like seeing the counter going one, two, three, four, five, then you know it works. If it doesn't, ah, see, it works. Exporting 1% because actually the files are actually quite big. Um, if it's, it starts to run, it will work. If it doesn't move, like, you know, you, you sit there and you wait for a long time, it doesn't move, and then you know the thing didn't work. But as you can see, this thing is exporting right now. It is uh, working. So, yeah, I guess it works. So, I mean, that, that that's the steps that I did to get to get uh, the DJI assistant to actually work and update my goggles. That, those are the steps that I did. Uh, I hope this helps you out. Um, I'm going to leave all the steps uh, in in the comment section below. Hope you follow along. If you have any issues, do um, you can definitely reach out to me and ask, or you can follow the thread along in, on GitHub. So why did I suspect that? this extension horn this extension is the root cause of the problem well the reason being is because it's like once you install your dji assistant on the mac at the end of it they'll tell you to accept or allow this extension from joshua wise and i got me thinking to myself I was like who is joshua wise and and i never saw this thing when i restarted my pc after after i've uh, uh installed the dji assistant so it's got me thinking it's like, okay must be something strange here so um, just a little bit of Googling, you, you come across that Joshua Wise is this guy that, that who is the creator of, of Horndis, who he no longer maintains, right? He maintains, he doesn't maintain it anymore. Somebody else maintains it. And there are actually a list of issues that have been raised in, in the, uh, in, on GitHub, where they maintain the software about uh, Big Sur support. And they don't have Big Sur support on, and it just doesn't work. Okay, that's an issue there, issue one. 132 and scrolling down in the comments you see that like there is uh so many people complaining that it doesn't work and i'm just following some of the steps written in that in that guide and uh just to get it to work so i hope you follow along and i hope this solves your problem because it totally solved it for me uh you can update the firmware do understand that this is one version of the firmware that causes you to fall out of the sky just suddenly black out so it actually uh and dji release uh, an updated firmware after that so you can update to that but you do need to switch to the DJI FPV system, then only you, you update it to another level. Anyway, like I hope that um, this helps you and this solves your problem of updating your DJI FPV goggles to whatever firmware on the Mac, right? If you like this kind of stuff, like let me know. If you don't like this kind of stuff, also let me know. It's okay. Good feedback. Any feedback is good feedback, okay? Anyway, take care. Happy flying.